So I'm talking with John Carafin at Lytro about the new Lytro cinema camera and its amazing capabilities. Um, let's take another, another look at, a, at another example here. I'm looking at uh, number 22 uh, in the slides that we have here. And we got a few little video clips to show you. Uh, so light field camera tracking. Tell us what we're looking at here, John. So this is actually a whole collection of different uh, technologies built into the light field system. So first, you're looking at the live plate uh, on the top left there. So you see it's literally launching a confetti bomb, which, uh, by the way, anecdotally, the director and the cinematographer surprised us with. So that was fun. <laughs> uh, uh, but this is literally set up to be an absolute worst case scenario. You can see there's a, a grip literally walking behind. There's no green screen. It's a very terrible, great thing that's in the background there. We left yeah. all of the set pieces, all of the gear uh, in the set. But what we're able to to do with a combination of the active scanning that's built into the system and then the dense um, scanning from the light field itself is even though you have all of this random noise, meaning the confetti here, you can generate an automated camera track of the actual camera position. And this is something that's done on quite literally every single visual effects shot in order to integrate CG objects into the live action world. And this is something that is a automated process when you get the actual data from the light field and from the camera itself. Wow. Oh, well, certainly uh, falling confetti is very difficult to encode. There's no question about that. But boy, looking at the grip behind there with a the ladder, he's, he's like just walking behind the, the action of the scene. And, see another ladder somewhere else. Uh, it, it's really quite astonishing to see the level of uh, problems, shall we say, in that shot. Um, and I believe also uh, 23 has uh, the next step in that process. That's right. Uh, let's, let's take a look at that. Yeah, so what you're looking at here is actually the finished shot. So you were just looking at how you had that confetti bomb. We're able to use the depth screen to extract out all of that confetti and then uh, put multiple light field and virtual sets into the single piece. So when you're looking at this, you're seeing the result of uh, that silhouette layer is in an individual light field plate. You have the groom and the uh, bride and then that trellis, which is a separate light field plate with a different camera motion, true camera motion. Uh, you have all of the confetti that is extracted out. And then we have a CG set extension for the grass here, or the grass and those lines. The lines are actually a storytelling element. Uh, and then obviously you have the virtual background with the clouds and everything that looks uh, pretty in the horizon there. Uh, mm -hmm. These are all integrated with uh, relatively very little artist intervention because we have the very accurate down to the subpixel level camera track in addition to all of the depth extraction from the confetti itself. And we can do a final composite to make up that, that actual shot with uh, really – none of the challenge that you would have traditionally had for a, uh, for a 2D film. So obviously you would have not shot it like that had you actually captured the scene with a green screen and everything else. But we really wanted to highlight um, just the level of uh, a challenge that you're able to accommodate using Lightfield and by automating many of these processes.